been screaming all day. The word is no, no, this could not possibly happen. A family in mourning after a construction collapse killed their daughter earlier today. Tonight, they remember the 27 year old who loved her job, fiance and her four dogs. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Kremlin News 10 at 10, where we give you more news in less time. We have been tracking this collapse all day long, starting this morning when we learned just after 930 that people going into the casino heard a loud boom, only to later learn that a subcontractor employee had died. Hours after the accident, the victim's family called Krem2 wanting to share more about their daughter as they search for answers. They spoke exclusively with Krem2's Kyle Simchuk, who joins us now with the story tonight. Kyle? Well, Paul and Sandy Vetter say they can't make sense of this tragedy because their daughter was always so focused on safety. They now want to know what went wrong, but getting answers today has not been easy. He was barely able to talk and he just says, I don't. I don't know how to tell you this. Paul and Sandy Vetter got a call this afternoon from their daughter's fiance, a call that's changed their lives forever. And he and he just said there was an accident um, on the job site where Anna was working and she's gone. Their daughter, 27 year old Anna Vetter, had been working on an expansion project at the Spokane Tribe Casino for the last few months after becoming a journeyman carpenter. So, I'm so excited about, you know, being being in Spokane and 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 being a part of the union and, and, you know, as you know, she gets up at the crack of dawn and, and, you know, goes to these, you know, job sites and she just loves it. Anna was also engaged and had just bought a home in Nine Mile Falls. She loved the outdoors, her fiance and four dogs. Her dad says she never took a shortcut when it came to safety. Safety was one of her major, major things. And for this to happen, it's just, yeah. Just devastating. Around 9.30 this morning, 911 dispatchers received multiple calls about a collapse at the construction site. It looks like we have four collapses in an elevator shaft. We have one unresponsive female shaft right now. So. Got one unresponsive female elevator shaft. Many casino guests reported hearing the disaster. I don't think I've ever heard anything that loud before. It sounded like an explosion, just a really loud and the ground shook. Swinnerton Construction is building the expansion and says crews experienced a formwork collapse. Formwork is the mold used to form concrete into structural shapes. No other workers were hurt. We want to keep the family uh, in, in our thoughts and prayers and all the construction workers. At five this evening, nearly eight hours after their daughter was killed, Paul and Sandy said they had still not received a call from authorities or the construction company letting them know about Anna. Their future son-in-law was the one to tell them. Krem2 has also reached out to authorities for more information about the incident. We're still waiting to learn more. We've learned more from, from your coverage than, than anything we've learned from any direct information. They still have a lot of questions and want people to remember their daughter, who they say helped pave the way for other women working in construction. Whenever she kind of met a challenge, she would, you know, buckle down and work through it. And we also reached out to the Department of Labor and Industries. They told us investigations like this can be complex and could take six months to complete. Mark.